Okay, I'm here to talk about binarial um, waves that you can do. We talk about in our uh, recovery manual. These are waves that uh, can get the brain to respond, which can help control the parasympathetic nervous system. And this is essentially a test, how to test them, to find what one is the most effective. Now, you most apps have these these waves in them that match up with the the brain waves and so forth in their app. Um, here's a here's an example of a free binary uh, beats. It gives a long list of explanations. For example, of of the possibility of ranges and uh, things that they, they can claim or not claim happen during um, different uh, uh, frequencies and hertz. But uh, what I'm here to do is show you how I can find and help dial in athletes in regards to by moving this a little bit you might get a better response. Now on this particular app and there's many apps out there and some won't allow you to adjust, some will, but here's how you test it. But if you move this up to scale too far, it'll get out of maybe a restfulness and it'll give you energy. But my point is, let's say post-workout for recovery, that uh, uh, you want to calm somebody down. So then you find those frequencies, and then what you do is you put you you, you let start with their hertz, and then what you'll do is you can. Uh, I find that muscle testing, honestly, is a, a a very effective way. And what happens here is you have the coach with this and the athlete standing there with the tones in their ears and what they'll do is they'll test uh, he'll test start a frequency and then if the athlete tests strong that's great but what you you might have the first time then is if he uh, comes in and tests what happens the te athlete might not test as well so then you go back to um, the app and you may adjust the frequency a little either way and the athlete can often tell that they feel stronger whether the coach can or not and how fast the muscles are turning on that you're going to get a better response so what I do is I, I kind of adjust find where I get a better response and when I say a better response I'm essentially saying um, the first test the athlete didn't test as well but then I hit some adjust the a little bit on the app and then the athlete tests strong and positive so with that being said um, these tones can be used to specifically address the person. Um, now, is there another way? Well, yeah, there is, but it takes a force plate. When I say that, an athlete, I wouldn't stand on one leg. I would stand on two, close the eyes, and then you get to send. This is basically a center of mass and center of gravity in which the force plate gets. Now, what will happen is if you find the right tones that are um, on this particular graph here uh, if you find the right tones what happens is the center of mass gets smaller so you might run through some things where the body really uh, clicks in and what happens is that the center of gravity becomes a real small square versus maybe just muscle testing but a lot of people don't have this force plate capacity so it's but it's just an option I was throwing out there so there's two ways to test um, uh, again this for this website here as you can see is is uh, a website that you can take a look at and look at all these different ranges that they come up with um, for these binarial tones and a very effective method for calming down the nervous system post-workout.